good morning. The day starts bright and early here in San Diego, and that's with a hike to the peak of Cowles Mountain. I thought this was gonna be some exclusive content. We were gonna be the only ones on the mountain, but of course, in true San Diego fashion, there's already a ton of people that beat us here. Well, there's lights all the way up the trail. People are starting to flood in. A lot of people are running it. We're just gonna go for a walk, and we're gonna to try to make it to the peak. Tyler's here. Tyler, I was gonna tell you, you gotta wear long socks just in case. There's a lot of rattlesnakes in this area. Oh. Did you wear long socks? Um, no, not That's today, unfortunately. Nope, those are rattlesnake ankles right there. <laughs> Where are you get these? These? Rattlesnake protected. Let's roll. All right, first bit of sun coming up over the hills over there. And we are about halfway up. There's a lot of lights in front of us. Listen, there's no place on this earth that makes you feel more out of shape than San Diego. There's just flashlights running by us, running past us, up and down both ways. And we thought we were being extra ambitious by getting out here at six in the morning. <laughs> Starting to get into more crowds now as we start entering these switchbacks. The city behind us in the distance, we're almost there. Looks like we got about 15 more minutes of our hike and we got about 15 more minutes before the sun comes up. It's a race to the top. Just like that. What's up, buddy? like that we made it oh yeah made it made it just in time sunrise coming up right over the mountains oh my god this is a beautiful start to the perfect day here in san diego cobbles mountain all right now i'm hungry let's go get some breakfast Stop number two of the morning, Woody's for some breakfast. It's right on Pacific Beach. It's a great setup, a little bit of a line, but well worth the wait. Got the surfers coming in this morning. It is perfect and a perfect day as per usual. Let's get some breakfast. We got our breakfast. We're on the top level of Woody's. There's this nice little patio that you can come and sit up, get a good view of the surfers. Went with carne asada burrito, acai bowl. This is a staple here. Both of these are staples here in San Diego. What'd you go? California scramble? California got, scramble, freedom style. Freedom style, so he's got roasted potatoes, English muffin, and another acai bowl. We're gonna give this carne asada burrito a try. Gotta go with the oh, little man. salsa here. Looks like a coma waiting to happen. So you got amazing. carne asada, roasted potatoes, egg, black beans, salsa, and then a little extra green salsa here. How good does that look? See ya. How's that? Carne asada burritos, surface coming in. This is good. This is really good. <laughs> oh man. And then you get a little mix of the savory and the sweet. You got an acai bowl here. Brazilian staple, but everybody in San Diego eats acai bowls. You got granola, bananas, blackberries, strawberries. It's a perfect blend. You got the saltiness with the carne asada and the potatoes. And then you got the sweetness with the acai bowl. It's the best. All right, we're gonna have some breakfast and then we'll keep moving. To 
after Woody's, you got to take advantage of what the city is famous for, and that is the beaches and the beach culture. Now, I got to be honest with you, I'm a terrible surfer, but since living here, I have taken up boogie boarding, and I'm an awesome boogie boarder. Some call me Shredrick Douglas. I'm going to take Tyler down to Pacific Beach right next to Woody's and go catch some waves. Let's go. What do you think? You ready to rip? Oh yeah. Ready to catch some barrels? Probably <laughs> crash into the sand. <laughs> Eat a lot of sand. After the beach, we dried up, we changed our clothes, and it's time for lunch. And for that, you just pop over to Point Loma to a place called Liberty Station. That's where we're gonna go now. A bunch of different food options. It's a great spot, close to the beach. We're heading that way. arrived at Liberty Station and this is the Liberty Public Market behind me. There's a ton of different food stalls and also a little beer garden right out here which is perfect. You can eat outside, social distance, all that good stuff. Liberty Station itself has cafes and restaurants, a bunch of different workstations. It's a really cool spot. So let's go inside, let's grab something to eat. I went with poke bowl, delicious poke. After a lot of meat yesterday, I figured poke was the right way to do with some vegetables today after tacos. If you guys haven't seen the taco video, make sure you go watch that. Five must try tacos in San Diego. And also, I want one of my favorite things here at Liberty Station, and that is the bao buns. These are both chicken. Let's just dig into those. Very good. Soft, fresh bun, pickled onions, a really good seasoned chicken, cilantro, and a little nuts in there. This is delicious. All right, now let's try this poke. One of the favorite things here in San Diego is poke bowls. You got seaweed salad, edamame, carrots, fresh tuna. Got some ginger in there, rice on the bat, cabbage. Soy sauce on the tuna, a little cream around it. That is perfect. That hits the spot. It's very light, very refreshing. Also bonus, Tyler went with the, uh, was this chicken teriyaki? Chicken teriyaki. Got a chicken teriyaki bowl from Spicy. Those, Sp ooh, spicy chicken teriyaki. <laughs> Might have been a bad choice. I was planning to go something green after the tacos. A couple of carrots on there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eat this, hang out a little bit, and then keep moving. We got one more surprise, one more adventure this afternoon. Stay tuned. This afternoon we have made our way down to Sunset Cliffs. This, as the name would suggest, is a great place to watch sunset. And this is where we're gonna go try to find a hidden cave. You have to be here at negative low tide in order to scurry around the rocks to get to this little gem. But 
I've actually never been here myself. We're gonna go try to find it. I'm going right down here by where the surfers enter the water. So this is where we gotta go. Like this here, three. That's where we gotta go. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> yeah. You can see the fenced in area where it's at right there. So we gotta somehow scurry our way around this area. That guy's right there. Yeah, we can't, we can't get down there though. We gotta go down here, which is the difficult part. Basically, we have two options. One, we get a dry bag and we swim over with all of our gear. Option two is we just go with a GoPro and swim over without our gear. There's surface going on. All right, we gotta make a decision. Let's do it. Doable? You turn around or no? Here we go. We gotta go around this. The tide's coming in pretty quick. Waves are coming in pretty quick. Gotta make sure you're coming on low tide. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow. Look at this spot. Very slippery. We got waves coming in in all directions. Just in time. Skies this way. Looking good. Got some surfers out there. Crazy. Good spot, but remember, you gotta be very careful. Make sure you come in negative low tide. The waves come in hot. It's also very slippery rocks if you're not paying attention. So make sure you know what you're doing. Come with someone who knows what he's doing. We came with Mark, he's a local guy here, so he knew when to come. Uh, one thing Mark said also is make sure you get in, you get your shots that you want, and then you get out. Exactly. It's, the tide comes in quick, right? Exactly. Yeah, you don't want to let your stuff break. You know, you don't want your. So you got to get your gear. Break. We just brought GoPros in here. Come in, enjoy the space, love it. But then Mark says, get the hell out as quick as possible. Out. All right, let's go watch the sunset. tip here it's really hard to find street parking down in the city but if you pull up right next to juniper and ivy it's eight dollars for valet parking very good all right this evening we have come downtown right next to little italy and we were at the crack shack a great place one of my favorite spots for fried chicken sandwiches after a full-on day hiking this morning woodies boogie boarding bunch at liberty station checking out that secret cave and now down here for dinner. It's a full on day. We're gonna finish it off with a delicious sandwich. Let's go inside. Basically, you just get a number, they bring your food out directly to you. I went with a Coupe de Ville, which is fried chicken, pickles, chilies, mayo, cabbage, a coleslaw on a brioche bun. Look at this thing. <laughs> went with a sour beer as well. That's delicious. All right, let's try this. Coupe de Ville. That's delicious. 
That is delicious. Oh. Planes coming in, the airport's right behind us. Crunchy outer shell of the fried chicken. Pickles, deliciousness, the crunch from the slaw, and a little bit of heat, a little kick from the chilies. This is a perfect meal to end a perfect day here in San Diego. That's it, we're gonna have our beers. Enjoy it, Tyler, well done today. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers, I'll get your beer later. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit that comments, and I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy. Oh yeah. Down. <laughs> <laughs> also, I promised and I promised Tyler no Anchorman references for this entire video. I promise. No touching of the hair and face. <laughs> there he goes. Comes to San Diego once. Starts with the Anchorman bit. So I'm gonna show Tyler what's that all about. So I'm gonna show Tyler. So I'm gonna take Tyler in the water. We're gonna catch some waves. Here we go. Take Tyler in the water. So we're gonna let this food settle for about 10 minutes. So we're no, gonna. No, no, because we we are going from Woody's. Uh, Woody's. Oh yeah, yeah right. Let's <laughs> rock. Shred time. That was terrible. What the <laughs> shred, I'm talking about? Shred, <laughs> shred time. <laughs> shred I don't know what that time. means. So we're gonna let this food settle for a couple of minutes, 45 minutes. I promise, Grandma. That's what she always told me. You gotta you gotta wait before you go in the water. What? Uh, it's surfers. I don't know how to exit this.